Here in this code sample, we first check whether the request already includes cookies. If the answer is not, then the message no cookie is returned back to the user web browser and a new cookie is created and by calling the method add on the cookies collection a collection we can access through the cookies property that was defined in HTTP response we actually indirectly send back to the user web browser the required HTTP headers that will instruct the web browser to create a new cookie. In case the user already has a cookie then we shall get uh, this message and if he has more than one cookie we shall get this message. Let's execute this code and see the result. Well, the first time the user um, send a request to the ASPX web page we have just developed, the user receives the message no cookies. Now, if the user try to refresh, voila, we can see that a cookie was created on his end and that cookie remains in the web browser. So even if we try to browse the same web page from another tab of the very same web browser software, in this case Opera, we should expect to get the same uh, result because the cookie now is sent back to the server no matter from which tab the user tries um, to um, to request the ASPX web page. Even if I uh, start a new window of this uh, specific web browser, even then the same cookie is sent back to the server and the result will be the same.